let's try one more time the string palindrome function. But this time, I'll not use even a single library function of string.h. In some exams, it has been clearly stated that you are not supposed to use an additional array and neither you are supposed to use a string library function. Now, how to do this? As usual, first identify a string. Let the string be a. So let me take a string which is a palindrome and a string which is non-palindrome. So this is for the first example. Now see, as usual what I need to do is I need to go ahead and compare this particular string. I need to go ahead and check the last character of this particular string. So identify the index of this particular last character. So for the index of last character, an empty for loop which ends up a semicolon is sufficient. Once you identify the index of null character, minus 1 will get me the last character, right? Okay. So what it does, you take two index on the same array. Let's take here i as 0 and j as index minus 1, that is k. So the index of last character is k, index of first character is this one. Now, compare a of i with a of j. Compare a of i with a of j. If a of i matches with a of j, what do you do? You go ahead with the next comparison. If they don't match, then there is no fun in continuing this particular comparison. Stop this particular operation. When there is a mismatch between a of i to a of j, your strings are not palindrome strings. You should stop immediately at that point itself. Right? Okay. So here it matches. If it matches, what I need to do? I need to continue. i becomes 1 and j becomes 2. Initially j was 3, now it becomes 2. i, a of i should be compared with a of j. Again they are matching. If they are matching, continue. Once I continue, i becomes 2 and j becomes 1. Now see, prior to this point, i was lagging, j was leading. At this instant, your i is leading and j is lagging. I don't find any fun in doing this particular comparison because already left is being matched with the right. If they are both same, the strings are palindrome. If, if I continue further, what happens? I'm again continuing what? Right with the left part. If you continue, it doesn't make any difference. If you wish to stop, you can stop at this predecessor. So it means that you have to do the comparison till your i is greater than j. Once your i crosses the value of j, you should stop this particular operation. Now, this is for the example where I was matching, a, a palindrome string was there. Suppose if I say A, B, C, D, a null character. Now, see, I is 0 and K is, uh, say, a 3. A of I, that is A, A of 0 is A, A of 3 is D. Do they match? No, they don't match. They mismatch. If they mismatch, is it worth to continue this particular operation? No. So it means that in the discussion, if you find that there is a mismatch, stop. Don't wait till your i takes over j. Irrespective of where in the program, you should stop this particular operation and you should say that the strings are not palindrome. Hence, what I'll be doing is I'll be using a break instruction in this particular part. Right? Let's put a program to illustrate this particular part. I'll have a program at this place. So I'll ask the user to enter the text, read the text as a. For i equal to 0, a of i not equal to null, i plus plus semicolon. What this does? This takes up till the index of null character. Minus 1 will give you the index of last character. So I have a, a, b, c, d and slash 0. So here I have this particular k being pointed at the last character. I will take a variable flag as 0. Now, I'll go with 0 as i and j as k. i 0, j set with k. i less than j, i less than j, true. True in the sense, go ahead with the comparison. Check is a of i not equal to a of j. Yes, a of i is not equal to a of j. If a of i is not equal to a of j, then what do you need to do? Enter into this particular part, set flag as 1 and then break will take you outside this particular for loop. 
when breaks takes you outside this particular for loop check this flag is what one one equal to equal to zero yes false false in sense say string is not turned on. string is not turned on. suppose if i say a b a this is the string now here i and k are at this place a of i not equals to a of j false false in sense don't do this operation so don't do this particular operation then go ahead what it does if you go ahead so it says increase i and decrease j is i less than j no i is not less than j because i is equals to j so condition false quit flag is still zero initially flag is zero and later on flag is also zero flag is zero string is palindrome we have tested whether the string is palindrome or not without using any string library functions in this we have not stated even a single instruction of this particular string dot h header file so if they have specified that you are not supposed to use string library functions then this program is the one which you are supposed to follow if you say that it has to be done using string library functions if you are not specified then also you can go ahead with string library function that is about the concepts of string is palindrome without using string library functions thank you